Hi, Sagittarius. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. This is your reading for the month of May. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I also offer IET, which is a healing method. Helps you to move energy. Um, well, it just moves energy. You know, they wouldn't help you. It's like you ask what you'd like to change or manifest, and you call on the angels, and then you let the angels do what the angels do, and you just sit there and transform, you know? <laughs> How do you like that? All right. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I um, I said that. Did I say that? I, I never know. You know, my script, I, I, I should really write down a script. Uh, please become a member. It really helps the station. And um, if you are a member, you get to watch the um, weeklies that I organize by sign without commercials. Sometimes I watch, you know, it's interesting. I don't know how that algorithm uh, works, but so now if I watch a video on YouTube, I'm getting all these Spanish commercials, I guess because I'm Mexico. And it's like, okay, great. Let's see what's going on for me. It's been an interesting, you know, you're my, I don't know, ninth sign already? Three, six, nine, yeah. So it's like, Oh, I feel like a lot of people, like most signs or most people are going through some real, I don't know, shedding skin, becoming a new, it's kind of wild. All right. Hmm. There's some kind of organization or some kind of something that you had been building that's done. You know, so there's something, I, I think this is something that you built either with the community or with people that you had something in common with. And it could be, um, you know, physical building, but it could be, you know, you're working on a committee together. came together for a business or something and that's finished okay but I, I think it really helped you it really healed you there was something uh really benefic there there was something that you learned or that you you gathered from there that was really very uh loving and kind and and benefic and it's opened you up to different uh opportunities and different choices it's expanded you somehow. It's it's um, it's kind of planted. It feels like it's planted some sort of seed for you to be for you to see. You know, like maybe in the past you would, you would tell yourself, "Oh well, I can only do this and that," but now that you feel more loved and more um, supported, right? It's like, well, maybe I can do something bigger. Maybe I could do something that's more uh, exciting, more that I hadn't really thought of before, right? Something that really wasn't on the table. Yeah. And it's almost like th this, this, um, I don't know what I want to call it, like situation or experience, let's say experience. Now that it's over, it's almost like you gained a, a, a deeper sense of yourself and deeper sense of possibilities. That's what it feels like, a possibilities. And so now it's like you're tapping into a deeper level of your subconscious that to create from. Yeah. And uh, you've been able, and it's afforded you this opportunity to look at things really carefully in a, in a very um, practical, stable sort of manner you know it's like what used to seem like a, a dream or a fantasy 
now that you have this information or this healing or this some kind of transformation, it's sort of like, well, actually, I think I can do that, right? A little bit like that. Yeah, and I've been getting a lot of ideas and a lot of messages. And I yeah, am, I'm, I'm ready to like sort of take a chance or at least I'm thinking about, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I don't think you're acting here. It doesn't feel like you're acting. It feels like you're contemplating and sort of weighing. Yeah, and allowing new messages and new intu intuition to come to you, almost trusting different senses. Yeah, because maybe I can do my own thing. Maybe I don't have to like follow the same way as everybody else. I'm getting a lot of that from a lot of signs. A lot of this um, sense of, uh, I wanna do things my way. I wanna do, I'm getting a lot of that for a lot of signs. That's really interesting. Five is a change in thinking. And yeah, I, I'm, I'm really allowing myself, I'm really allowing myself to daydream and to like really look at different possibilities that I never really looked at before because I never felt, uh, I don't know, supported or confident or uh, hmm, adventurous or like that. And it's like, well, something has shifted. Something has shifted. Yeah, and I'm, I don't think you're going to act, but I think that you're planting seeds in order to say, well, maybe I could do this, maybe I could do that. And I never really thought that I could have that kind of business. I never really thought that I could, I don't know, run the marathon and now I think I can. Or I never really thought that I could learn new language and I, now I think I can. Or I never really thought that I had talent in this or that area. And, now it's like, I don't know if I have talent, but I am willing to try and see where it leads me and see what happens and see how it feels. Very nice. It's, you know, it's kind of like, um, you know, when you're young and you're not really um, too confident in yourself, like really young, and then you have a certain teacher or a certain mentor that says, uh, why don't you try it? You could do it. And that was all you needed, right? A little, a little, a little nudge. I feel like you're able to give that to yourself because of an experience you had, which is really lovely, which is really lovely. That's the way it feels. It's nice. Nice, nice reading. So that's May. That is May. And, um, I'm grateful for the weather here, I have to say. Really grateful for the weather here. Um, I mean, last night, when it rains here during the rainy season, it is like the end of the world. Lightning, thunder, hail, uh, like inches of rain, really quick, floods. And then it's done. It, it's really quite something, but it, re it, re it refreshes everything. And so the pollution is not as bad because the, the one thing about this city is that it is mega polluted. All right, that's my story for you for May. Uh, I offer one-on-one -on -one readings. Um, you know the drill, it's all below. Blessings. <laughs>